just got out of the shower and I just got a huge box from a special little company called Gamblin. And it's heavy. And it's heavy, bro. I'm gonna freak the freak out, bro. Now hold on. Now hold on. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> We're gonna keep this on. This is good. A real apron? Wait, there's so much stuff in here, guys. I don't even know what to do. I feel like, an, like, I'm, a, like I'm a kid at Christmas. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. We're gonna open up this first little thing in here. I guess I don't need to open it up. It's just gonna... Valid knives? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's just... It's just a giant... It's a giant tube of white. They're like real. They're like, they're playing cards. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a varnish brush. Gambar and Gamsol. A picture varnish. That means I can finally varnish the oil paintings that I have right there. We're gonna try this out. Absolutely we are. I think this is like a painting medium, I think. I don't think I've ever been so excited about a piece of plastic, but they're gesso. They're like gesso blades. This is oil painting ground. I will say I don't know what this is, but it kind of seems like almost kind of like what you do with gesso. You do this before you start painting. Oh, brush, another brush. What a haul. Well, obviously we have to test all of these supplies out. Like we need to test them all out to be clear. Like we have to. I don't look good in beanings or, or hats or whatever, but I'm gonna keep this on anyways. <laughs> As you guys know, uh, Camilla doesn't paint with oil paints. I've only painted with oil paints about like on three separate occasions. Um, I'm always using my teacher's paints. Thank you so much, Gamlin, for sending me some paints so I can really experiment with them on my own. I've also never had like a full set of colors. I always just work with primary colors. So this is so cool and I'm really excited. So we're gonna do a little testing today, a little experimenting, if you will. Yay, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> been like, I don't even know how long since I opened that package. I was busy, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna test out these paints soon. And then, um, school was canceled for a week. Then I was sick for all of it. And I'm still a little congested, <laughs> still a little congested, but I'm bored out of my balls. So, <laughs> I really want to test out these paints like, really badly. Here are all the supplies. I'm gonna open some of these up and we're gonna test them out. Yay! Okay, this is what we're working with. And also this half broken plastic palette and this canvas panel that I just found in my closet. I don't think I'm gonna be using this ground because it says you have to wait like a week for it to dry. And um, we're not doing anything too serious right now and I don't wanna waste this. And also I'm not waiting a week. <laughs> That's the supplies I'm gonna be using. I also have Gamsol, which I'm pretty sure thins out the oil paints. And you're probably wondering what I'm gonna be painting. In honor of this freak Texas snowstorm we had this week, I'm gonna be painting a picture that I took from a, the actual Texas snowstorm that happened. Was it two? Was it last year or two years ago? It doesn't matter. That's what I'm gonna be painting today. Quick, fun little landscape. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna whip out this. We're gonna put one layer of gesso on it uh, for safe measure. And then we're gonna start our painting. Can you freaking believe it? I'm painting with oils again. Here I am unwrapping the little panel and I'm gessoing it up. You know how it is, just a thin little layer of gesso to spice things up. And then I'm adding an acrylic underpainting and it's orange. Um, because most of the painting, I have a feeling, is gonna be blue, and they are complementary colors, and <laughs> I've seen other people do this, so I trusted them. I'm not really sure, um, what an underpainting does, but I like to do it because then, um, the white is scary, so it, it seems less scary if I have an underpainting. I don't know if the orange really did much of a difference, 
Um, but here I am blocking in some colors. Can I just say, these... I forgot how, like, smooth and buttery oil paints are and how, like, easy they are to work with. And I... I don't know. I just... I loved painting this. And I'm so freaking glad I have these paints now because I've been so afraid to get into oil painting again because I feel like I didn't have, like, the right supplies and the right whatevers to get started especially because i'm in such a small little area in my room and because these paints can be toxic sometimes um i don't know i guess i just kept making a lot of excuses to try out oils but i mean i've done i've used oils before but i just don't use them as often because i feel like there's just so much you have to do with them there's so much care that goes into them but honestly I don't think so. I don't know. I'll pr I'm definitely going to be using these way more often um, now that I have these awesome supplies. Which, by the way, I can't tell you how much I freaked out and I'm still freaking out that I have all these like incredible art supplies. It's just like, I don't know. It's awesome. And I'm so happy like they even thought of sending stuff to me. Ow! Anyways, I had a lot of fun painting this and especially like the snow was a lot of fun and all the different colors and the oil paint it's just oh, i'm so excited to use these supplies guys you have no idea oh my god i have paint on my face and i'm just not realizing and i need to go wash that off anyways <laughs> i finished the painting and it's actually been a couple weeks I'm not even sure how much since um i even started the painting been a little busy but i did finish it just now and it was actually oh my gosh it was actually like a lot of fun i was just playing around with these paints you know seeing how they felt experimenting and they're so nice and they're so buttery smooth and the colors are awesome and i just oh, i had a lot of fun it's just like a nice little simple little piece you know nothing too fancy nothing too detailed but it was a lot of fun especially like the snow for the highlights i did like sort of like a thicker application of the paint and I just thought it was really fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like random video of me just painting with oil paints, but I did get that package from Gamelin and I am so freaking grateful that they sent me all this stuff. I'm genuinely, I'm actually, I'm so grateful for them. Also do want to mention this is not sponsored or anything. They, I didn't have to make this video, but I got the package and I was like, I have to make a video because this is awesome. So thank you so much. I also want to varnish the other paintings, but I think I'm going to save that for another day. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching as always. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and lots of more fun stuff coming soon. I promise you guys I'm working on a new, brand new fun little painting and a new little video for you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye!